Okay, the next one on the test menu is CO room safety. So again, I've used my up and down key to go into that. I use my middle key to go into there. The pump starts, obviously, um, you have to go for a fresh air purge, just like you do on your flue gas analysis. This we've already done earlier, which is why it's not going for the purge, but you'd normally have to do that and do that outside. Um, you'd normally use your flue probe and you'd use um, a tripod, um, which, we, uh, which we sell, which will hold the flue probe two meters high uh, in, in a central location of the room. Um, and then the, the software is written into this. So what you've got to, have to do is you have to pick which appliance you're using. So if we just pick on, on one of these, uh, which is, um, I don't know if you can see that, you've got boiler, cooker, water heater, space heater, room sealed appliance. So if we, if we pick on boiler open flue, and we go into that, what, what you see on the page here is the CO PPM, is the actual reading of CO uh, currently. Then you've got a peak CO, which is the, the highest level of CO that is seen so far during the test. And then you've got the allowance on this particular appliance is, is, is 10 ppm. And then you have the duration at the bottom. So once this was set up with your flue probe and a tripod, um, then what you do is you start the test, and that would start the duration. Now you'll notice that there's, there's no stop key, there's no print key. Uh, the reason for that is it's got to meet the minimum duration, which on this particular test is 15 minutes. After it's met the minimum duration, you then will be able to look at the details on here and make an informed decision on whether uh, it's a fly and pass and the 15 minutes uh, is, an, is enough or whether you need to uh, let it run for the second uh, duration which basically uh, duplicate the test, so it's doubling up the test to 30 minutes and the reason you do that is if obviously you'd exceeded the 10 ppm or got extremely close to it and you wanted to let the test run off. Now, um, obviously I'm not going to wait here 15 minutes until the test finishes um, but what you've got is your CO is, is obviously zero peak CO. Let's say it was at 9 ppm, then you'd be concerned knowing that your allowance is 10. So that's when you'd let it run on for the, for the second duration, second period. Um, if it was at 2 ppm, for instance, and your peak CO was 2, straight away after, as soon as you're allowed to stop it, you'd stop the test and it would naturally, the analyzer would pass it for you. If the readings were unstable or, 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 or high, let's say, for instance, it exceeded 30 parts per million while you're doing the test, you don't want to wait 15 minutes to find out that you're, you're over 30 ppm. So it's got like a personal alarm built into it and it will alarm to tell you um, that uh, you, you need to turn the analyzer off and, and vacate the building. Okay, so I'm just going to press escape to come out of that. And obviously it does ask me, are you sure you want to quit the test? Because I could be many, many minutes through and you don't want to waste that time. So I'm going to say yes. And then obviously if I was to go um, back and see our room safety and pick another one, same thing applies, you just go down. Um, if I cook up cooker, obviously the allowance is changing that, so you see that's 30 ppm uh, over the set duration of time. And when you do the printout of it, obviously it titles it to whatever appliance that, you, that you've picked. So nice and easy, analyzer uh, basically does the job, and at the end of it, it tells you whether it's passed or failed. Thank you.